Hi, I'm here from Aunt M's Quilts and M's Scrap Bag, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a crumb heart ornament. Won't that be cute to add to your Valentine? All right, remember if you like my videos to like and subscribe. Let's get started. All right, to make your crumb heart ornament, you're going to want a heart shape, and I just use a cookie cutter. You're going to want the back of your crumb ornament. You are going to want some crumb fabric. Um, I will put a card up above and a link down below for my tutorial on making crumb fabric. You're going to want something for your hanging. So just some ribbons or, or some um, hemp, whatever you want. If you want a natural look or if you want a colorful look, ribbon or hemp. We'll give you one or the other. And then you're going to want some batting. All right, our first step we're going to trace this on and just make sure that when you trace it that you have a quarter inch all the way around don't do it right on the edge of your fabric because you're going to need to have a seam okay and i'm just because i know i'm going to sew on this line and i'm not going to have an issue with it later in my project i'm just using a pencil I don't know, can you see that on there? I've just traced it on. Okay. I'm also going to trace one down here. I'm going to make sure I have a half inch between where I've traced the first one and where I'm doing the second one. And make sure that I have my quarter inch here. This just allows me to get a couple at the same time. Then I'm just going to put that on my crumb fabric. You can move it around to see where you want the different fabrics on your crumb to be on your heart. So just move it around until you see that it's got the effect that you want with the crumb fabric. And then we're just going to stitch on our pencil line. On both of these all right that will give us two don't stitch all the way though leave yourself an opening that's about one and a half to two inches along this side here not at the point you're going to want to come in from the point but leave yourself along this edge all right once we stitched around and left our opening we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut it out all right So we're going to leave a quarter inch, maybe a little less, as we go around here. Once we get it cut out, I'm going to clip my point, and I'm going to clip up here just be careful not to go through your seam. Okay. And then we're just going to turn this where we've left the opening. All right, we're just going to turn that. I use a purple thing. You can use whatever tool you like to turn things the right way. So just get your little point out. Okay, once we get that turned, we have this opening here. Then we're just going to take the batting. And we're going to stuff our heart. Stuff it good and tight. It just makes a cute puffy heart if you do. All right, then we're just going to stitch up this hole with a needle and thread. Just do a blind stitch. Once we get that stitched up, I'm going to take my ribbon 
I've cut this. Let's see, what did I cut it? I actually just cut it in half. It's just over seven inches long. And you can cut according to how long you want it to hang. I'm going to give myself a point here to make it easier to thread. Okay. And I'm going to thread that through my needle. And I'm going to come through here at the peak of my heart. And pull that through. And then I'm just going to tie so it's hanging like that. I'm going to tie my ends in a knot. Like that. And then you have this cute crumb heart ornament. You can put them on gifts for your Valentines. You could do a Valentine tree and hang them on them. Have fun making them. Thanks for watching my video. We'll see you next time. Bye.